happy hour rocks. Talk about your king's banquet. And I don't think this chicken is cooked, Mike. That's why it's free. Hey, I'll take another one of those $8 beers, please. Uh-oh. I gotta hit the John again. Don't worry, buddy. That's just your stomach adjusting to life on the road. Be right back. Hey, better hurry if we're gonna catch the all-you-can-eat clam steak buffet and thank God it's Wednesdays. <gasps> I guess I just sort of naturally fell into the leadership role. It's always been like that for me. Hey, Mike, come here. You gotta see this. Everybody's really counting on me to get us over the top. Oh, my God, Ben! How'd your brother get on road rage? A lucky bastard. What the hell have I been doing wrong? So in conclusion, I think I'd be perfect for road rage. Am I hip enough? Hell yes, dog. Let's kick it freestyle. He looks good. Now that he's dropped the J.C. Penny look. These people have become like my soulmates. It's so perfect. The trip is ending in Santa Fe because it's so like super spiritual. Great Spirit is like so super pleased that you won the Jello Shot Marathon. You are all now 40 points closer to your fully loaded SUVs. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Izzy rocked with the Jello Shots, man. It was so cool of her to fall off the wagon so we could win. What's more important, sobriety or getting more points for the SUVs? So I took one for the group. Brother Eagle, no request that you get your freak on at our casino nightclub dances with laps. We should hook up with them, man. Santa Fe is only like 18 hours away. We could be there in like 18 hours. Are you kidding me? It's always been my dream to be on a road show. Yeah, right. What would it be called? Mike and Gary? <laughs> so this guy did your daughter? On her wedding day. Oh, man. Thanks. I've been tracking that son of a... For months, I was so close, and then suddenly, poof, he's gone. It's like he's vanished from the face of the earth. We've got 12 hours to find the organs and get them to Santa Fe General. If we don't make it, guys, those orphans are toast. You magnificent bastard. You went undercover. Wing me. Coming right up. Dip. You know it, Daddy. I can't wait to see the look on Ben's face. He's gonna freak! When was the last time you saw him? I'll kill you! No, I'll kill you! Bring it on! Christmas, two years ago. Something about Ben, the way he dresses, the stories he tells. I'm starting to think he could so be the one I lose it to. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. I'm definitely tight with Kira, yeah. But now that I got to know everybody individually, I'm starting to think of everybody as individuals. I'm not so much a stand-up comic as a satiritist. I hold a fun house mirror to society. Everyone's been really supportive of my weight issues. I finally feel okay about who I am. And who I am is a girl who needs to lose maybe 15 pounds. <sighs> maybe uh, 30 pounds. What do you think? Everyone's cool, but I feel so alone. There's no one here I could talk to about my sexuality. <laughs> I'm really confused. A few more days and it's like blue sky, baby. Ain't nothing gonna stop us now. Hey, brother, kiss my hairy ass! Oh, no! Hey, Ben! How the hell are you, man? Mike? Great to see you, man. I am not confused anymore. <laughs> I know exactly what I want. I can't believe I'm actually on the Road Rage bus doing a confessional. Everybody here's been so totally cool. Especially Nate. <coughs> Nate, is it? Man, what are you doing here? <laughs> You're my big brother. I saw you on TV. Thought I'd come and say, hey. Hey, is that my jacket? When I first saw Ben, he asked me what I was doing here. And I said, You're my big brother. Saw you on TV. Thought I'd come by and say, hey. At that point, I think I said, hey, is that my jacket? 
He's my little brother and I love him. But what you need to know about Mike is that he's very insecure. He's always got to be the center of attention. It's sad, really. Uh, let me introduce you to everyone. No, no, I got it. That drunk girl, black comic guy, fat chick, gay guy, and hello. That must make you the virgin. First thing Mike did was reduce everyone to a complete stereotype, which, you know, I thought was kind of rude. First thing I did was reduce everyone to a complete stereotype, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> and who's sitting next to me in a Mexican jail cell on New Year's Eve? Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> What? That's my best story. Can I talk to you alone, Mike? Ugh, it felt so sad when Mike stole Ben's story. If we don't have honesty, we'll never make it. You stole my story. Hey, you know how it is. You're sitting around having drinks. Oh, come on, I'm sorry, Mike. Just let it slide, okay? I got something really good going here. Yeah, all right. Well, at least it's nice to see you finally got some friends. Cold? A little. Share my blanket? Oh, thanks. He said thanks. <laughs> he didn't have to, but he did. Well, uh, we better pack it in and get some sleep, gang. Uh, so, uh, I guess you and Gary have a long drive ahead of you tonight. Actually, we were thinking we might just hang with you guys. Uh, I, I don't think that's a good idea. We've got another mission tomorrow. Wait a minute. We just can't send them off in the middle of the night? It's night. But there isn't enough room on the bus. We'll make room. Then it's settled, Ben. We're here. <laughs>